Good afternoon. This is Key with KeysBlog.com and I'm going to be on a roll for quite a while on this subject of jihad at American universities. I'd like to show you my t-shirt. No surrender. That's right. Here we are again. We have another product of an elitist university and its connection with terrorism, the conviction of Sammy L. Arian, the former University of South, Profe South Florida professor, as well as the principal of the Islamic Academy of Florida. Here he is, shown in September 2002 file photo. Al Arian has been a master manipulator for years and has gained vocal support from the American left. What a surprise. Robert Spencer wrote as front page magazine that Al Arian's luck has completely run out. When he pled guilty not long ago to conspiracy to make or receive contributions of funds to or for the benefit of Palestinian Islamic Jihad, especially designated terrorist organization, the maximum sentence was set at four years, nine months. And Judge James Moody, according to the St. Petersburg Times, shocked the courtroom when he ignored the recommendation of prosecutors and defense attorneys for a lower sentence and slapped Al Arian with the maximum. <laughs> Moody also didn't hesitate to tell Al Arian what he thought of him, referring to Al Arian's claim that he was raising money only for Palestinian, Palestinian Islamic Jihad's charity for widows and orphans. The judge declared, your only connection to orphans and widows is that you create them. Now, think about this. Recent events tie a known Taliban, member of the Taliban, attempting to go to Yale. We have another supporter of terrorism using Columbia's university's email system illegally to send anonymous emails calling people names who don't support terrorism and here we also have a former Florida University teacher convicted of terrorism charges. You see any connection here with the elitist universities and terrorism? Anyone seeing a connection? Al Arian tried the old mani manipulation games that had served him so well for so long, speaking of his belief in the true meaning of a democratic society and the integrity of the jury system. Moody was having none of it. Dr. Al Arian, he said, as usual, you speak eloquently. I find it interesting that here in public, in front of everyone, you praise this country, but that's just evidence of how you operate. You're a master manipulator. Indeed they are. They actually believe that war equals deception and that is what they're eagerly perpetrating on the American people with the help of leftist organizations and leftist lawyers who clamor to their aid, who run to their aid to defend them. Laura Mansfield wrote in her book Inshallah about her husband the Egyptian terrorists and how they're coached to manipulate the system in order to benefit from it and further their cause. Indeed, Judge Moody was in no mood for any such ma manipulation. He told Al Arian, you continue to lie to your friends and supporters, claiming to abhor violence. He scored the former professor's murderous activities. Your children attend the finest universities this country has to offer, he said while you raise money to blow up the children of others. He noted that Al Arian used the suicide bombings in Israel in January of 1995 merely as an opportunity to solicit more money to carry out more bombings, while anyone with even the slightest bit of human compassion would be sickened by those murderous attacks. But Al Arian supporters dug in. The judge's words that Al Arian supported violence contradicted the very basis of the jury's acquittal and the plea agreement and raised questions about fundamental fair fairness, declared David Cole of Georgetown University. One of Al Arian's attorneys, Linda Moreno, said flatly, there was no mention of violence in the plea agreement which the judge approved. Yet, in fact, the plea agreement stipulates that Al Arian raised money for a Palestinian Palestinian Islamic Jihad and that he was aware that the PIJ achieved its objection, objectives by, among other means, acts of violence. Al Arian, as well as Cole, Moreno, and the Florida Jihadists, other remaining supporters, should come clean. The time for denial and deception is over. The game is up. 
The fact that Moody gave Al Arian the maximum sentence is a great indication that in the future, perhaps all Americans, both left and right, will not be so easily fooled by the likes of Sammy Al Arian and will move resolutely to resist their efforts to foster the goals of the worldwide Islamic Jihad on American soil.